Julio, thank you. Switching gears, what's being called the worst ski season in 34 years may finally be accompanied by a parade of colder storms this weekend and next week. Our Storm Tracker 9 meteorologist Holden LaCroix is live at one of the places suffering the most. Holden. Yeah, we are live at Willamette Pass Resort. This is on Highway 58 as you head up towards Klamath Falls. And as you can see behind me, snow is minimal at best. And Willamette Pass is not the only ski resort suffering from not this bad season, but a late start to the season. As you mentioned, we're still expecting those parade of storms to approach as we start this late season 2024. Take a look. Unfortunately, the seasonal forecast for the Northwest verified. After a record high snow back across the Northwest for almost four years, ski resorts are now experiencing the worst conditions that they have seen in 34 years. We did see some really great early season snowfall. Uh, unfortunately, it did rain on that and take us back down to dirt as you can, as you can see. Uh, we've had some cold nights, but for the most part, we've also had very warm temperatures, which have made uh, snow making difficult. In September, the Climate Prediction Center released their seasonal outlook for the U.S. and something snow lovers don't like to hear in the Northwest, El Nino. A natural pattern caused by warming ocean temperatures in the eastern Pacific. This causes the jet stream to split, a subtropical jet over California, and the polar jet well over Canada. As a result, warmer temperatures extend north, rising snow levels, and generally translating to more rain and less snow. This is exactly what we have seen so far this season. A very wet fall leading to slightly above average rainfall for areas like Eugene and Portland, but virtually no snow as rain fell in areas that typically see the powder. It's not just the rain, the temperatures have been the real struggle this winter. You know, as much as we try, you just can't make snow in the rain. Um, it does have to be quite cold and quite dry to make snow. So you're looking kind of in that low 20s is ideal. And then you want that humidity to be relatively low as well. Even if you're not a skier or snowboarder, this snow is important. Rain is short term relief for water supply in the Northwest. By summer, virtually no rain falls and all of our drinking supply comes from snowpack. If we're to keep up with this trend, we could be facing water issues by August. Fortunately, the pattern is shifting. Even in El Nino winters, it doesn't mean that it'll stay warm the entire season. And that is exactly what we are seeing with model guidance for this upcoming weekend and next week. So, you know, we it's the Pacific Northwest. We can have that come in in a single night and then we will get everything ready as quickly as possible. It might take a couple storms. Um, ideally, you know, we'll get that base, get open, and then it'll just keep coming. Willamette aren't the only ones hopeful for this pattern change for the rest of the season. Berg Ski Shop has remained busy as people anticipate the upcoming pattern change. Now, the conditions have been mediocre, but it, it's been good. Uh, people have been coming in. They know the snow is coming. The important thing is that everyone knows that, that the season isn't over yet. It hasn't even started. So this week, getting the snow and the forecast, and people have really been calling already today saying, hey, is it going to be open this weekend? Are they going to be open this weekend? We love those phone calls. That means we'll have pass on who we're going to see a lot of energy. No one's given up. And the important part is it is not started. As you can see, a snow kind of lightly falls here at Willamette Pass Resort. We're still expecting those storms as we head into the weekend. So it is not doom and gloom. Season is just getting started and next week looks very promising. But for now, this hat right here cannot be any more relevant as we head toward the rest of the week. Ariel. Holden, you hit the nail on the head. Promising weather.